Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to show you how to fix some common mistakes with your WoW folder or with your World of Warcraft client, especially for the older versions like from Vanilla to Cataclysm and even later on. So I would say let's go right into the first one here. All right, first things first, locate where your World of Warcraft folder is. Don't make the mistake to put your WoW folder into C program files. I know this is currently on German, so bear with me. But don't put your WoW folder in C program files, for example. This will just give you uh, an unnecessary headache. You could just put it in C or wherever else you want to. The next common mistake is to actually not unzip your World of Warcraft folder and if you start your WoW from a zip uh, file, you will also run into problems. You need to actually unzip your WoW client. Alright, on to the next thing. Right click your World of Warcraft folder. Go under Properties. I know it's German, but bear with me. Go under Properties. And then this window should open here. And then you see um, this will most likely translate to read only or copyrighted mode and this is an issue you want that your config file is not on read only mode same with other files but I don't want to bore you with the details here and you s can see the read only mode is here so so what does that mean you can open your config file like normal and you can change and save things so that's not the problem, but the problem stems from, I will show you this in the background, if you try to launch your game and then change, for example, keybinds or you change the resolution or something like else, it will change while you are playing, but when you close the client, it will revert to the default state your config file was in, you know. So make sure that your config file is not on read only and I would extend this to your complete World of Warcraft folder. So go again under properties and check the read or the copyrighted mode. Press apply and then it asks you if you want to do this change for all files and the other folders inside your folder and you just say okay. It will do its thing, it may take some time, and then you hit OK again. Sometimes you need to hit a, uh, OK as well in that um, window, but it's not a big deal. So if you now go in and locate your config file, it won't have the uh, copyright or the read-only mode enabled anymore. So that is really cool. That means your game can um, freely change this, this config file here. So if you go into your game and then you change something, it will actually save it. Same goes for the realm list. Let me have a look. This is always uh, different from client uh, to client, you know, for, for the client version. There we go. There's the realm list. And as you can see, it's not um, read only and then you can also change it freely. Sometimes, you know, if you have already a client, you need to change these things. Um, this is also the next mistake a lot of people do. They change the realm list, but they don't change the config file. Because in your config file, you also need to change that really often. So make sure you did that. Or at least what you also can do is just to delete those from your config file, save it, and then just change the realm list and when you launch your client it should automatically post these lines here in your config file if it's not on read only and if you're locked actually into your account you know what else is often a huge problem i have another uh, video about this are those two lines here this line here gx maximize one one always means it's enabled and zero is disabled of course, sometimes you have video options version 4. This is when you have multiple stages, pretty much. This maximize just means full screen. And the window here means a maximized window mode, a borderless one. So you don't need to tap out, you know. So that often hel helps also if you can't change the resolution. And usually 
this is a common problem from yeah pretty much vanilla to cataclysm at least i even had people tell me that they had this problem on retail when you are in game i will show you this and then you hit borderless full screen or a windowed full screen you will get a black screen and that is how you actually can solve this issue on modern hardware you know of course you can also change the uh, fps depending on the version you are playing and stuff like this especially if you have a refresh rate above 60 frames this is really important same for the resolution you can change this all here in the config file pretty much you can even change the DirectX renderer depending on the version of World of Warcraft you are playing this is Cataclysm here another common mistake is this file here this wow.m fill file this is pretty much from cataclysm i i'm not sure if they use it for mist of pandaria as well and onwards i'm not really sure but this came with cataclysm at least from my knowledge and sometimes if you got the client from another project pretty much you need to change this file here sometimes you need to actually open that file you can just right click that and say you want to open that with a text editor and then you can actually see what it changed here and sometimes you need to go in here and change things around but often other projects also just offer this file so you can just download that and replace this file in here of course after you have done this uh, make sure to right click there and sometimes if you have a file from another computer it will uh, give you a prompt if you want to allow this file and then just check this apply and hit ok and then like before make sure that your world of warcraft folder is not on read only mode so this is enabled again, but this is normal. Just uncheck it again, hit apply, okay. It, do, it will do its thing and then okay again. And when you look here, it is applied again. So don't worry about this, it's fine. It's completely fine, don't worry. That is pretty much a Windows 10, Windows 11 thing. So don't worry about it. Let's go on to another common mistake here. Let's launch our client here. Um, if you use multiple clients, have different projects installed on your PC, it will ask you if you uh, want to reload to your default settings, always hit no because it will fuck uh, with your settings, you don't want to go through the hassle again. And here on the login screen, and often it will just say enter your email address, this depends from project to project usually you have an account name with which you have to put in here so ignore pretty much this message here that it says enter your email address put in your account name and then your password and then log in because if you put in your email address for example on white main and with the cataclysm uh, client you will get the prompt you know you, you will log in but you will be disconnected immediately and this is because you are using the wrong login credentials, so bear this in mind as well. But yeah, this was a short and sweet guide on what to look out for when you start playing on a World of Warcraft private server pretty much. Or if you even have problems with your retail version, you can also check things with that. Of course, the email thing doesn't apply there because on retail you pretty much use your email address there. And of course the official blizzard launcher what i didn't mention is if you play on a world of warcraft private server don't have your battle.net launcher open just close this because this will give you headaches as well depending where you are playing and what version of the game you are playing so i think that covers it uh, for this short guide here and i hope it will help you and having said that if it helped you, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. Dislike it if you disliked it. And having said that, until next time guys, see ya. Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day guys. Stay safe out there. Vincent out. Bye bye.